Hello everybody, Hot Loof Waffles here. And today we're going to be going over German artillery. It's going to be the same as the last video, it's going to be a uh, brief overview. And I'm going to kind of talk about each one and uh, how I would personally use it and what to expect from each one. Uh, the first thing I wanted to say was uh, I'm not going to be going over mortars in this video, and I'm not going to be going over rocket artillery, and I'm not going to be going over a Thor because I feel like those are honestly a uh, separate category from uh, just artillery. I know that these here are kind of more of a light infantry gun, but I just wanted to include them since they they basically do the same thing, just with shorter range. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first gun <clears throat> we're going to be talking about is the 7.5cm uh, uh, light infantry gun 18. And this is honestly one of my favorite guns in the game, especially when you first start a conquest or if you're playing early war a multiplayer match. And I'm going to show you why. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is I have the ranges labeled for each of these guns here. Um, one of them literally goes off the map, but we'll talk about that later. Um, so I'm going to talk about the, the range of each of these guns. So the uh, Light Infantry Gun 18 is obviously not going to be something that shoots very far. It has a range of uh, 160, and it has HE, and it has anti-tank heat rounds. Um, it reloads pretty damn fast, and it's very accurate at max range, as you can see. Um, it is just absolutely great at obliterating infantry, especially in Conquest. This thing is the workhorse, because it just does that. <laughs> it is really, really good. Another reason I always, always buy this gun is it has heat rounds, 10 of them, that can easily take out these light tanks effortlessly just obviously at max range it's you know not as accurate as an AT gun I mean look at that I mean the circles pretty big for a heat round at 160 but you get to like 50 60 70 meters you can reliably knock out any of these light tanks like T26s and BT2s it's just a really great gun. It, it can, it, at the beginning of your conquest missions, it can act as an AT gun and it can act as artillery. It comes with a bunch of shells, so if you can't afford to take a... Oh, I just hit that guy in the face with that freaking AT shell. If you can't afford to take an ammo box, it's not even really a big deal, because this thing has a lot of ammo in it, and it's accurate. It's just great. <clears throat> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, next up is uh, my second favorite artillery gun in the game, the SIG-33. You do not get anti-tank shells, but you do get a little bit more range. Here's the SIG-33, here's the infantry gun 18. So you get about 210, and the accuracy for the area of effect of this gun is honestly so powerful. I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and, and show you why. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Gates of Hell, look at this. <laughs> I mean, sure, it doesn't have the range of any of these guns, but it's it's ridiculous. It's And if you can manage to get a shot, and maybe, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna hit this tank or not, but it's a 15 centimeter sig, so it wouldn't surprise me if it just, yeah, hits. <laughs> because even at max range, the, the aim circle is ridiculously accurate. Like, I mean, come on. That was like two to three shots, and I've just killed all of this. Look at the crater. It's, it's so good. I love this thing. So, so much, man. Let's just do one more, because it's fun. Oh, yeah, they just keep dying. It's so funny. I love this gun so much. It's great for if you want an artillery gun that you're not going to shoot past 210 meters, and you just want to destroy everything the enemy throws at you. Obviously, it's not going to accurately take out tanks, 
But hey, if you get lucky, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to the 10.5 centimeter Leaf 18. This is a, a really, really versatile gun because you have APHE and heat on top of HE, and your range is so much better. 355. So just to put that in perspective, here's here's the gun. Here's where you're hitting. It's pretty far. Here's where the SIG 18 hits. Here's the light infantry gun 18. And here's the leaf. So the leaf is a huge upgrade in the range category. And it's a huge upgrade in the anti-tank category because it has two shells and one of these shells is heat and it can pin T-34s. So that by itself should kind of sell it. Uh, the accuracy is not a SIG-33 but you're also getting like twice the range. So still not, not bad at all. Like I'm not going to be complaining about that. <laughs> still a really good HE. Um, Comparing it to about the range of a SIG-33 though, I'm going to go ahead and show this off here. It's not anywhere near as accurate. So if accuracy is your thing at like mid-range, this is probably not the gun for you. But the reason people buy this is because they can sit in the back and spawn and practically hit the enemy's points. So that's a selling point. But here is the real reason I use this gun a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some T-34s, KV-1 because why not, some other KV, just another T-34 here, and I'm going to show you the APHE on this thing. So obviously, it's not going to pin these, these big old tanks. You can get this gun really early on in Conquest, by the way. It's 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 not it's not that much. It's uh, it's like I think it's like seven hundred dollars if I remember correctly. So it's pretty pricey, but to research it is not that bad. Um, here's a T twenty eight. If I can hit it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this will kill it. Look at it. There's like nothing red except that gun mantlet and some wacky angles. But if you just just can hit this thing. It's gonna be great. Here we go. Obviously this is direct fire, as you can see. It's not indirect like artillery. But it pins tanks and I'm gonna go ahead and load the heat round here. Show that off too. Almost loaded. Oh yeah, the reload time is not terrible, but here's what's good about it. He can pin the front of a T-34, the bottom plate of a KV-1, the front plate here where the driver is on the KV-1s, that's a 1941 by the way, and obviously it can pin the front of a T-34 easily. Uh, it's an artillery gun, or a field hauser, sorry, it's, so it's not like a super mega accurate at doing these things, but it can, that's that's the point, it can. If you have, if you see a tank and you're panicking, you can just switch this thing over to heat and you can wait for it to get, you know, pretty close to you, like get within 100 meters and just do that, just take it out. So, it has a lot more variety, you know, you can do a lot more with this than you can with a SIG-33. SIG-33 is limited to its its range here and only using HE while this can shoot all the way over here and effectively take out tanks uh, fairly close to it. So it's, it's overall, it's a really good gun if you want something that can do a lot of different jobs at once. Alright, let's move on to the 10 centimeter SK-18. What is the range on this? I believe it's really far. Yep. 450 meters. And here's that aim circle at that range. 
see the kind of damage we get here. Not bad. It's still not a SIG-33. I hope you guys are remembering this. <laughs> but uh, you get like triple the range, of course, compared to a SIG-33. So if you like shooting artillery from across the map, if you're one of those kind of players, um, this is the gun for you. Uh, and yes, we get a PHE. We do not get heat though, but we do get a PHE. And I'm not too sure the penetration values of it, if I'm being honest. Um, I do know that it can effortlessly pin this T-34 at 100 meters. Not T-34, sorry, okay. So, T-34s, KV-1s, they're not safe from this thing. It will destroy them. Uh, note, you only get 5 APHE shells in this thing, and I... Most of these artillery do not have a lot of anti-tank shells, so you can resupply them with the resupply trucks, obviously. Um, if you're taking them in the battle without anything that can kill tanks, I would recommend that. Um, but yeah, so this is basically this, but better range. That's kind of the what I've taken away from testing these two out. Um, so it's an upgrade from this, obviously. I meant this, um, but all you're really getting is extra range. The HE feels the same, like the spread, and the APHE is obviously better. Uh, definitely more penetration than the Leaf 18. So it's more like just a direct upgrade from this. Not nothing really much else. Uh, it reloads, as you can see. You know. Not terribly fast, but not terribly slow compared to what we're about to see next. Alright, 17 centimeter <coughs> K18. For those people who really like shooting across the map, I'm going to show you why. 520 range. I, It's off my map. <laughs> and you only get HE and you get 10 shots with it. And here's the aim circle at 400 meters. Let's see if we can get some kills. Brutal. <laughs> really, really fun gun, but not very practical because it has terrible accuracy, terrible reload time. Um, but you get a big boom. So if you like shooting tactical nukes across the map, this is the gun for you. Just please note your tactical nukes are not going to be very accurate. It could hit a tree or a house and you'll just be left standing there wondering what to do with your life. So please be mindful when using the uh, big boys here. <laughs> Obviously as you get closer the aiming circle gets better. Here's like 216, you know. That's not bad. You're better off using a SIG, like I said, you're better off using a, a freaking SIG 33 at that range because the area of effect is you know, obviously not as good, but it's it's just it's just better. So, um, but if you want to throw big, giant, explosive shells across the map, buy yourself some 17 centimeter K18s and uh, 21 centimeters. 21 centimeter is pretty much the same thing with less range, I believe, and less ammunition and an even longer reload time. And if I can aim it. slightly worse accuracy. Like, I do not know where this shell's about to land. <laughs> but the area effect is great, so always really fun to use it. These are not practical, in my opinion. I know that there's players out there that love these things, and they swear they're the best things in the world. And I, I do enjoy using them too, and I'm near the end of a conquest, and I'm just trying to have fun. It is so much fun to just hit a point with that and kill everything in it. But when it comes to being just, you know, practical and getting the job done, I'm going to have to say just, like, stick with these three. Or four, I'm sorry. Uh, this, of course, for earlier engagements, and you'll make your way up to these two. But I, I never drop the SIG-33, ever. <laughs> it's just too good to drop. I don't really feel the need to trade off for this. I still use this, 
for longer range and the anti-tank capabilities, but even then I just have like tank destroyers on the map to, to deal with tanks. So uh, I very rarely even upgrade from a SIG-33. This is, in my opinion, one of the best artillery guns in the game. Yes, you don't have range. Yes, that sucks. But that sure as hell doesn't suck, so it's just really good. Um, but yeah, I have nothing I have nothing against 10 centimeter and 10.5 uh, centimeter. These things are great for, uh, for, you know, you're obviously getting a lot better accuracy compared to the big boy, big boy cannons. And the area of effect is really not bad. It's nothing compared to a SIG-33, but it's still not bad. So, yeah, it's just, just, my, just my personal opinion, kind of overview of these guns. Um, also, I want to say this real quick. The Light Infantry Gun 18 can be towed by this car. And this car is $90 in Conquest. And it has an MG34 on it that you can take off and give to, let's say, a security squad or something. So, it's definitely worth it to note that these go hand in hand together because you can give your infantry an MG34 every time you play a game and resupply this truck and get another MG34 while also being able to tow this. And the two guys it comes with are MG supporters, so they have ammunition on to, to feed it. So just just note that that's something I wish I knew really early on when I started playing that I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Uh, the other, these cannons cannot be towed by this though, only this and uh, some other light guns like the uh, Pac-36 I think and some smaller things can be towed by this car, but that's about it. Um, if you want to tow these things, you're going to need either a, uh, you know, a special vehicle 10 or a, uh, an Opal Blitz, obviously, you can tow any of these, um, effectively. Obviously, I would just say use the Opal Blitz, because you can put your infantry in it, infantry in it, and, uh, take them around the battlefield quickly. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, so you can know, um, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and took something away from this video. Uh, feel free to uh, leave a like or a comment. And I will see you guys next time.